Hey guys, this is Juan Camilo. Today I'm going to show you how to change your CPU. First guys, we have to see if you guys have a fan based or if you have a liquid cooler for your CPU. Now here guys, we have to see on the housing of whichever one you do have, most of them are essentially the same. Uh, from my experience, they all um, work the same way of the pressure of the screw holding it down to the CPU. So check your manufacturer's um, instructions on how to remove yours so you can safely remove that so now as we can see here I remove the screws and I reveal the CPU housing as you can see guys those pins down there are very very delicate you do not want to bend those down there if we look down below here I pull this pin right out of this metal housing here and I pull it back as you can see when I pull it back over here on the left side guys on that screw uh, that tab is pulled out and I lift and I lift all both of together the little stick here on the side as well as the CPU housing uh, top guys we want to be careful with those pins again if you touch it anything falls on it any liquid you could ruin it now guys I have my CPU here uh, pointing down at the arrows here as you can see there's a little white arrow uh, there will be some type of sign on your motherboard as well as on your CPU as you can see right here guys look these two arrows are matching together to show where the CPU goes inside the CPU housing inside these pins guys you want to gently place the CPU inside the CPU housing being very careful with those pins slowly putting the tab down again guys matching this lower left tab inside the screw bringing down this little pin here there make sure that everything's aligned properly bringing down the pin into the hole that goes to lock down the CPU housing um, and that's it guys that's how you install the CPU itself fairly simple you have to be very gentle now I'm going to reattach the mounts that attach the CPU cooler to the CPU guys here I'm going to use this thermal paste that I got from Fry's RIP Fry's shout out to Fry's miss you guys for sure I put a little bit of a pea size amount here guys so I have a little bit of thermal paste left on the cooler pump guys so I'm not gonna put too much uh, but a pea size amount should do just fine as you can see here guys I'm going to reattach the pump uh, onto the housing of the motherboard that way we can pressure down and we seal that CPU to the cooler and we have good contact to the water flow or airflow if you are using a fan guys please always check your manufacturers manual to see how you need to remove the housing so that way you're 100% safe into what you're doing um, in this scenario guys it's just basically four screws that I have to reapply uh, to the motherboard to hold down the housing and then just those two screws that hold the pump down to the motherboard housing kit thanks guys for watching that's how i upgraded my i7 7400 to an i7 7700k for free guys by myself thank you for watching appreciate the support keep it 100